Thank you. We are back. Nice show going tonight. Hey, Max, what happened to your costume? Well, it's right here, Conan. It's just that these Anton Fig costumes get really hot and sweaty. <laughs> oh, well. No, that's okay. At least, uh, at least you had the uh, Halloween spirit. Yeah. You could get a little yourself, my friend. Sorry, this is not oh. count as a costume. Where I come from. Well, I don't normally dress like this. <laughs> Phone call. Very strange. Middle of a show. <coughs> hello. 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 Yes. Hello. Come in. Yes. Hello. <laughs> My first guest got millions of boys through puberty while playing everyone's fantasy, Marsha on the Brady Bunch. Today she is working on a different kind of program, traveling around and speaking of the realities of pregnancy with a program called Birth Control Matters. Please welcome Maureen McCormick. <laughs> You look very nice. Well, thank you. So do you, Conan. Right. I'm a big fan of yours. All right. Well, it's good to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. Sure. Hey, Marcia. Hey, Marcia. Cats. Oh, my nose. 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 Miss Maureen McCormick. Now, I, I, I just have to say, I'm so excited to be here in New York, and I was just out in the hallway, and I met um, all the guys from Saturday Night Live, and that was a huge thrill for me. Oh, yeah, they're always out here eating the free food. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Now, I, I know you want to talk about uh, this birth control uh, program that you're working mm -hmm. with now, but, but first I want to start with yes. some, some Brady stuff. Okay. I have to. Great. And uh, my, first, my first question, first of all, may I call you Marsha? <laughs> Conan, you can call me whatever you want. All right. I love this job. Um, now, I have to ask you about this. I think it was in 1977. Right. There was a Brady Bunch variety show. Okay. With you guys wearing big, uh, <laughs> big one-piece. No, with what? Big one-piece, then clogs and your dance clogs? numbers. I don't, like those big high heel platform, platform right, shoes. Right, right. Okay, I'm sorry. And there's a swimming pool and there are synchronized swimmers. And I was wondering, uh, what happened? <laughs> you know, uh, nothing. Really? Did it just say, at the time, did it seem like it would be fun and then... Well, uh, did you see it? I, I've actually, yeah, I saw like three episodes. I saw, I think the first episode I remember it had Farrah Fawcett Majors and, and, and Lee did Majors. It really? Yeah. <laughs> Come on! You were there. I, I, I was there. Um, well, you, I guess you can, then if you've seen it, then you know why it's, why what happened happened, right? Well, was it fun at the, was it fun at you, the time? You know what's really bizarre is that there's an album out now and it's actually selling of, <laughs> of what we did back then. Well, you guys, you, when you were, uh, when the Brady Bunch was on the air, it was uh, like midway through the run, you guys actually toured as a singing act. We actually did, yeah. Well, well. Amazing, isn't it? Did you, did you polyester and all, yeah. And did you play? What you played concerts and things like that? Yeah, we did, Was all across it? the country. <laughs> do you ever, do you ever put these records on now and listen to them, or? Uh, no, I don't. Do you? Do yes, you? <laughs> I do. I heard that. I heard I that. I listen to them constantly. Yeah. I have them on my Walkman when I'm do coming you? to work, when do I go you? home, constantly. That's great. I'm, I'm really happy. For all you. right, I've got my act together. Yeah. No, but I mean, the Brady Bunch, it's a huge part. A lot of people right. uh, from my generation, it's a huge part of our lives. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's all I have. No. <laughs> no, but it is a big part. I grew up in a, I grew up in a family of six. Um, Did you really? Yes, yeah, so I grew up in a family of six. There was a, a butcher named Sam. Uh, <laughs> the whole thing, we lived in this crappy house. Uh, I, I heard, rumor has it, that, that you're like so into this. That you um, were, out in, were out in L.A. and you, you went to the house? Yeah, this is kind of creepy. This will frighten most Americans, but it's a Halloween show, so why not? No, I actually did. I, I had this friend who said, I know where the Brady Bunch house is. 
and we, uh, we, we, we jumped into a car and we drove it. It's in Studio City and we get out. It's the middle of the night and we get out of the car and, it, you know, I'm like a, I'm a 30 year old guy right. and I'm standing there and I'm looking and there it is, the Brady Bunch house that, that we've all seen uh, lots of right, times. so we had him in and, and <laughs> it's great. Yeah, right. We had a party. No, I did. I, 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 I sat there and I, I just was staring at this thing for like an hour and the police came. Uh, <laughs> no, but it was, uh, it, it was this thing that's kind of arresting. I mean, when I, they showed it many, many times right. when I was, and, and it's this thing that, you know, for you, it was just a job you did, right? right? right. It was something you did for a while, and then it was over. Right. But now it's, what happens? Back. Now what happens? Well, when you, when you uh, see, when people come up to you constantly, and right. they think that you're a marshal, or they talk to you, or they con you into doing a bit where you get hit in the nose with them. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like for you? Do you have a memory of all those times? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's um, lots of really good memories. Um, uh, it was it was a fun show to do, and uh, we all stay in, in touch still, and mm -hmm. it was a fun part of my life. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, now you've, you've moved on. You're working for a program. Yes. I'm really excited. We're um, touring all the major universities and colleges throughout the country, and uh, we're speaking about all of the available uh, birth control options that are out there for, for men and women today. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting. Um, it's, it's interesting because... When I was growing up, I mean, there was really no place where you could, you know, go get educated on, on things like this. What about you? Did you, you know? It wasn't necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. Well, listen. Yeah. No, that's all right. Well, listen, thank you, uh, thank you very much, and, and best of luck with the program. It's called Birth Control Matters. Thank you. And uh, thank you for being here. We'll be right back with Gilbert Godfrey. My next guest played the voice of the parrot in the film Aladdin, and he's currently the host of USA Up All Night. Please welcome Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> wow, Gilbert, that is a great costume. <laughs> intellectuals talk shows. I can't stand it. You know, I'm always in there getting these intellectual guests on, and if I, no one knows who they are, excuse me, I gotta interview Groucho. This mask just doesn't matter. The mouth, the mouth doesn't move. It's a cheap outfit. I bought it for two dollars. It was in a bin with Tom Snyder outfits. I just look at the head's falling off. The mouth doesn't move. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get out of this outfit. I'm sweating. Oh. <laughs> Please stop it. Work. <laughs> 